Hey, gals and guys, this is Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and Merry Christmas to you all. So, I'm running out of movies to review. I'm running out of Christmas movies to review. It's very hard and very difficult for me to find anything that um, is remotely, I think, of any type of even a decimal of quality. <laughs> um, so, I'm getting desperate at this point. I'm going to have to figure out uh, what to do next year, because I'm not going to be able to do five christmas streaming movies for each platform it's just uh it's going to be impossible for me i went down a little road for peacock i went down for these there's a stream of movies called um the dog who saved so it's the dog who saved christmas the dog who saved christmas vacation the dog who saved the holiday the dog who saved halloween the dog who saved easter <laughs> the dog who saved summer and it's all the same story and the same it's supposed to be the same dog and everything so I'm going to go down this rabbit hole um, and watch these movies. They're terrible. They're all very, very terrible. I'm going to tell you right from the get-go. They are not good, uh, but I watched them all. I watched all six of them. I'll only be reviewing highly five of them, and I'll just touch upon one of them, the summer one. Um, but, yeah, they, they all blow. They all suck. But uh, let's get through this, and um, let's see what they're about. So here's the streaming services where I get these Christmas movies that stream for free to review and show you. And it's getting difficult to find these movies dealing with Christmas. Halloween is very easy. Horror is very simple. There's tons and tons and tons of those out there. Christmas, not so much. So we'll see what we do next year. And these are the movies that we're reviewing. They're not very good. I don't know. We'll get through them somehow. And the links to these movies will be down in the description for your viewing pleasure. And maybe you like them i don't know and please share your comments or any movies you would like to suggest for maybe next year and here's the peacock logo that lovely peacock logo all right let's look at these pieces of shit all right let's start off with these pieces of shit the first one's the dog who saved christmas from 2009 this was originally on hallmark i guess that explains everything right there hallmark Gets the golden seal of holiday drivel in crap movies <laughs> during Christmas time. There are things I can't explain, like ghosts, UFOs, and why why Hallmark movies are so fucking popular. And nothing screams quality more than the words starring Dean Kane. Yes, he's in every single one of these. Mario Lopez does the voice of the dog Zeus in this one. Uh, he's the kid from that Saved by the Bell show. I guess they did a couple remakes, and he was on some news magazine or is on some news magazine and i'm gonna nitpick right off the bat here the title is grammatically incorrect the title should be the dog that saved christmas not who and this movie does star dean kane so that's not it's not a very good sign the dog who saved christmas as i said is a 2009 american made for television christmas comedy film starring dean kane gary valentine and the voice of mario lopez which we just discussed it was written by childhood friends Michael Simonera and Richard Gnolfo, or Gnolfo. It premiered on ABC Family. Oh, okay, ABC Family. On November 29th of 2009, during their countdown to 25 Days of Christmas programming block, it was ranked as the number one cable program during its time slot and the number one cable film in the winter of 2009 with 4 million viewers. This isn't a Hallmark movie, so bonus. I thought it was because it said Hallmark in the beginning of this trailer. And how can uh, Dean Cain be in this and this isn't a Hallmark movie? Uh, interesting. Dean Cain is like in every Christmas Hallmark movie ever. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating. All right, pretend Kevin James, who the guy acts and looks just like him. Uh, pretend Kevin James adopts a dog for the family for Christmas to the defiance of his wife who didn't want the dog. This puts pretend Kevin James and his wife knocking heads the entire movie. All they do is bicker most of the movie and it does get annoying after a while spoiler alert the wife eventually warms up to the dog and welcomes it welcomes it into their home ah the dog talks i mean we hear what the dog is thinking as an audience i know extremely original right mindy sterling who betrayed fra for Bessana in the austin powers movie is in all these films pretend kevin james name is gary valentine and tickle me perfect when i was looking at the googles and he actually been in kevin james movies and he played his cousin in king and queens that was kevin james old sitcom for people who don't know so that explains that fake kevin james was also in both paul blart 
and mall cop movies, which if you're also not aware are Kevin James vehicles and terrible movies may I add. I can't stand Kevin James. In fact, I like pretend Kevin James more than the real Kevin James. This movie is not good. I don't know who this movie is made for. It's not made for kids because you have two adults spending the movie spatting at each other. The actual dog is barely in the thing. There are no likable characters. I guess the kids in the movie are okay. This is crap. I want it to be good, obviously, but I knew it was going to be terrible. I was hoping I would be surprised. I was not. The dog who saved Christmas could not save this crappy movie. And I like dogs. And they get rid of the dog for the dumbest reasons. They get rid of the dog because the dog doesn't bark. I would think most people would put that in the plus column. This movie is shit. As a positive, Dean Cain was hardly in this movie. Um, that's the only positive I can I can give you. Dean Cain plays a thief breaking into the family's house. Turns into a home alone situation. But instead of Macaulay Culkin, we have a non-barking dog. And for Christ's sakes, they have a blooper reel at the end of this movie. This isn't Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> This isn't a Burt Reynolds uh, 1970s, 1980s vehicle. And the bloopers aren't even funny. So I don't know. It was dumb. This movie's dumb. Let's go to the next stupid movie. The Dog Who Saved Christmas Vacation from 2010. Once again, it should be the dog that saved Christmas Vacation. Nitpicking here. When starting the movie, I wasn't sure if this was supposed to be a sequel to the last movie or not. A quick visit to IMDb answered my question. It's the same cast and even Dean Kane is in it too. And Paris Hilton. Dean Kane and Paris Hilton together in one film. This will be a delight. Mario Lopez is back as the voice of Zeus. The dog narrates again to no one in particular. I suppose the dog is narrating for our benefit. Casper Van Dien from Qu Christmas Twister, which is going to be a movie I am going to um, review in another upcoming uh, video pops up in this film. It seems all these shitty Christmas movies pull from a certain pool of the same actor, especially a Hallmark. If you ever watch Hallmark movies, it's like the same five or six actors in each movie. There is a shitty Christmas movie actor list out there circulating producers' desks. I'm sure of it. It turns out Paris Hilton plays the voice of one of the dogs. I feel like I gypped. If anything, I could watch her body the whole movie. No, all I get is her bad acting in voice only. And as I was watching this movie, I was going through Google, and it turns out there's also a dog who saved Halloween, and a dog who saved summer, and a dog who saved Easter that is part of this massive series with all the same actors. I had no idea this thing was such a franchise. I can't believe they made five of these fucking things. And Dean Kane is in every single one. He plays a thief in the first one. How many times can he be thieving? Five, I suppose. All these movies are terrible. I felt committed to watch the entire series. That was not my plan going into this. I thought maybe the characters would grow on me considering we spent five movies together. They didn't. They were just as annoying in the first movie as they were in the last movie. This time out, Dean Kane was trying to steal a necklace that was mistaken for a dog collar. It was all bunches of stupid looks specifically for a scene where they're chasing um, a sleigh and Dean Kane and his thief buddy are running after it. So there's one shot where they're barely running and they're very, very close to the sleigh and then it cuts to another Another shot, shot where they're far away. It's it's an editing nightmare. <laughs> it's terrible. So look out for that. The whole movie's terrible, but that uh, a lot of the scenes just crack me up how they're edited and put together. It's terrible, per terrible directing. I, it's not the editor's fault. It's terrible directing. The Dog Who Saved the Holidays from 2012. I jumped a couple of films ahead on this one. I hope I don't miss out on any key plot points. Again, it should be the dog that saved the holidays, but let's just accept their shitty grammar and get on with it. Joey Lawrence played the voice of the family dog, Zeus, this time out. If you grew up in the 80s, you'll know Lawrence as the little kid from Gimme a Break. If you didn't live through the 80s, I imagine you don't know who the hell that is. He was a heartthrob a million years ago. Now he's like me. <laughs> Old. I'm sure it's no surprise at this point that the movie sucked all bunches of jingle balls. I understand that these are trying to be kids' movies. That doesn't mean they have to be dog shit, Shrek, Toy Story, The Incredible Journey, Babe. I could go on for a long time. My point is, just because the films are aimed more towards the younger populace doesn't mean you have to write them like they're retards. Is retard politically correct? Probably not. These films make it seem they were designed for the lowest common denominator. It amazes me how people get jobs in the industry, especially writing jobs. This is crap. Do they sit back and pat themselves on the shoulder, feeling a sense of accomplishment and pride? I'd be embarrassed to turn in something like this movie script. It's abysmal. These movies are garbage. Dean Kane is back. Yay. 
Peyton List plays a dog voice in the movie. I'm glad to see she graduated to more substantial content with Cobra Kai. Peyton is 25 years old and plays a high school student in <laughs> Cobra Kai. I find that interesting. That happens a lot on television and in film, those child labor laws and all. She's great. She's a great actress. So how she ended up in this movie, I don't know. And I'm sorry, Peyton. Shelley Long and Michael Gross show up. There's some more actors I grew up with from the 80s. They were in good shows back then. They must have owed someone a favor to be in this thing or oh back taxes or something like that actually i misspoke there's not five of these there's six of these fucking things but let's run through the rest of them because we already went through all the christmas ones the next one is the dog who saved halloween from 2011 the movie stars the main cast from the last three films yes dean kane is in all of them as i said joey lawrence is back as the voice of zeus lance hendrickson is in this thing lance hendrickson is a great actor and booger booger from revenge of the nerds movie and and all those sequels and moonlighting is in this the actor's name is uh, curtis armstrong he's been in a lot of stuff Stuff over the years. Blossom or Mayum Bialik, man, whatever her name is, shows up as the voice of one of the dogs. Uh, I think they're making another Blossom TV show. Obviously, she's the parent now because she's older. These movies seem to be combing the 1980s for out of worked actors and actresses that appear in these things. The Dog Who Saved Easter from 2014, whatever, fucking Dean Cain is in it. Pretend Kevin James isn't in this one, but the actress who plays his annoying wife is. I'm not reviewing this. I watched it. It was terrible. That's enough. Just know it exists. And Mario Lopez is back as Zeus. The Dog Who Saved Summer from 2015. I do believe this was the last film out of this crappy series. Mario Lopez is back as Zeus. And pretend Kevin James is back again as the father. Not sure why he skipped out on the last one. Maybe he doesn't like Easter. Martin Cove is in this thing. And William Zabko is playing the voice of Johnny, of course. If you don't know either of those actors, they are in one of my favorite shows, Cobra Kai. Actually, William Zabko, his character is called Johnny. So I'm sure that uh, was done on purpose. I am satisfied to know they jumped off this crappy film and into something far more entertaining. In fact, don't watch these movies we just reviewed here. Do yourself a Christmas favor and go watch Cobra Kai. No, it's not a Christmas series, but you'll be a hell of a lot more entertained. Am I missing any? The Dog Who Saved Arbor Day or The Dog Who Saved Flag Day? Surely if those haven't been made, they're on the horizon. The Dog Who Saved Mother's Day? Who knows? These must have been popular. I mean, they made six of the goddamn things. Obviously, they weren't made for me, and just like Hallmark movies, someone is watching them. I feel there needs to be an intervention for these people. <laughs> they need to know there's good cinema out there, there's good acting, there's good scripts, there's good movies. But you like what you like, I suppose. So what I do is just put in uh, Peacock Christmas movies and do a search, search on the Googles, and then there you go. You'll find these right here. And just keep in mind, I'm doing these. I'm doing this in October. I have to do them a couple months before the holiday just to get them done and edited and everything. So by then, there might be some newer ones or different ones on here. But there's really nothing um, that I haven't reviewed. There's nothing that hits me over the head as in something that I really wanted to watch. That's why I did these... Um, the dog saves whatever holiday it is. Uh, these six movies that we just um, reviewed, which were terrible. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe your kids will like them. Who knows? But anyways, here's some Christmas movies from Peacock. Just nothing beyond what I've already reviewed in the past three years. Um, I don't know. Maybe Casper's Haunted Christmas. Maybe that's cool. Who knows? Anyways, that's how you do it and search and, and see what you can find. And maybe um, you'll enjoy these more. See, I'm not into these movies. Maybe you are. And they all seem the same. Uh, anyways, gals and guys, I uh, got a couple more uh, review days to do. I think Plex and Roku, I think, maybe, or YouTube or something like that. But uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. All right. See you.